Yo, yo, yo. Yo, welcome back, we're back to again. Two Guys with Open Flies. Hey! Yo, the yeah. fly's open and we're gone. I don't have a fly. Speaking of guys. And flies. Is a uh, guy a gender neutral term? Uh, I guess Because so. I think it is. Yes. Y- y- if you say, hey, guy. Which you don't really hear very often. You'd, you'd assume it's a man though, right? That's a guy over there. You'd yes, think that's a man. Yes, that would be a man, yeah. But, yeah. if you're talking to a group of people, men and women, or even just a group of women, mm-hmm. you can say, hey guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's a different fine. Thing. Yeah. So is it gender neutral or not? Oh, wait, you're getting messages, bro. <laughs> this is so unprofessional, man. What the fuck? <laughs> man, dude, come on. But you know what I mean? Man, dude, come on, see? Yeah. Man, dude, yeah, yeah, come yeah. on. Guys is everybody. Guy is you're talking about a guy. You don't usually go, hey, guy. But you say, that guy was doing this. Yeah. You do not think that was a woman at all. Okay. That's, that's not why you think that's a woman. No. no. That's fair enough. What about dude? Dude is open, open. in my opinion. Ent- yeah. Entirely open. So that's yeah. gender neutral. I call everyone dude. Girls, it- boys, yeah, kids. Yeah, the mix. You talk to kids? Oh, he talks to kids. <laughs> <laughs> said do you speak to kids I said nothing and he's like oh shit <laughs> trying to make you look like a pedo so guys, talking about guys oh I was gonna say quickly should we change our name to two pedos and speedos yeah that was my idea we are, we, we need, we're trying to change our name as you guys yeah. know for like now, about a month now two pedos and speedos will probably not get us into the algorithm very well yes. it's my opinion but it was a funny name to come up with. Yeah. Time. But guys, you need to help us with names. What the yeah. fuck are we supposed to Fucking call Fucking write something. There's 15 and sometimes 80 of you guys watching the video. Just yeah. write something. Thank you for that. Or like it or sub. Like, we... we If you enjoy this shit, when, like, we're just fucking talking absolute shit. Yeah. You Literally can just listen shit. to us when you're working on your stupid, like, I work all day, I just listen to podcasts and listen to music. It's Just listen to us talk shit. It's so entertaining. It is. And we just talk shit and hopefully make you motherfuckers laugh. You'll laugh so hard. Just like people laugh at this. Would you go back and kill baby Hitler? It's a big decision. Are you just killing a baby? I think it depends on if you know it's baby Hitler. And you, you know, like, you know the course of... Okay, history. so we've gone back in time. And you're still your age, you know okay. about Hitler. Okay. And you go back in time with the pure intention of killing baby Hitler. So you know that this baby in front of you is Hitler. And yep. you know that he's going to kill millions of Jews. Now, I've heard a good few arguments about this. Oh, shit. You could you could go and raise Hitler yourself, essentially. Be around him. Oh, my and God. Just, no, no, no. This is my opinion, but this is what people have said. Okay. Is that, no, I wouldn't kill him. And I was like, okay, why would you not just kill him? And the whole conversation was was raise him, watch him while he's being raised, and try and understand why he is the way he is, and try and push him into the 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 way of being a better person. But that's now, not my responsibility. No, I'd shoot the fuck out of that kid. Yeah. <laughs> it's same. I would. I would yeah. Go. What's I, another? What's another reason though? Oh, that was like oh, the that main was, one oh, that, that I heard. Was, the was one, just like, like other you could help him. Yeah, that's and fair enough. Through God, he could be better. Yes, yeah, what well, I heard. I don't have time for that shit. No, just kill. Yeah. <laughs> just die. Like that means that I'd have to. I don't stay know if there. I could kill. My intention though. would be like, just go back, kill him, come back. I don't know if I could kill a person though. I don't know if I'm capable of that. But it's like the Thanos as well. It's like going back and killing baby Thanos. It's like he killed baby billions and trillions of people though. Trillions. Didn't kill trillions. Hitler only Billions. killed a measly million people. <laughs> oh, that's so fucked. <laughs> but, but, but Thanos killed trillions. Thanos did not kill trillions. He blipped them out of existence. Yeah, that's billions, killing. not trillions, though. Trillions, dude. Animals and stuff included, but still, it wasn't trillions. It would be trillions. It but would anyway, be billions. would you kill baby Thanos? He's an alien. I don't know, but how cute would baby Thanos look? What a massive fucking head that thing would have. The head would be the size... It would still have a nutsack for a chin. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, No, I kind of like... I kind of like... I love the whole situation that they went through. Oh. Yeah. You just let it unfold. I'd let that unfold, yeah. Chaos ensue. Yeah. Yeah. So you would... They all came back in the end. But you would kill Hitler. Yeah, because... No, 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 because Hitler didn't have... There was nothing good about Hitler's situation. Thanos' situation was, I got an extra three movies out of it. 
But so, in my opinion, if I killed him, I would have never seen those movies. Aside from the movies, do you think his intentions were actually pure? Like, I want to save. Oh, the other his half intentions of were pure, but he had the wrong idea, the way to go about them. Yeah, like why not just double all the food? Like, yeah, well, you can snap your fingers and do anything. Couldn't you just do that? No, it was an evil person that had a a. A agenda? mind that was... Yeah, an agenda. Yeah, that's a good word. Because his agenda was to help everybody. At least that's what he said. Was that not Hitler's mindset too? Because he was like, these Jewish people are terrible for the world. We need to rid them of it. We yeah, need no, to... but that guy was methed up. And oh, yeah, he was an idiot and, and wrong. And coked up and just like... I don't think Thanos was doing coke. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think Thanos was You never so know what he was snorting off of Nebula's... Well, uh, what? <laughs> um, You've been watching those fucking <laughs> those Disney Plus pawns or something, mate. <laughs> no, that was fucking his fucking I'm daughter. A porn, I'm a porn free man. Porn free man. Fuck all that stuff. You want to know why? When you go to college, you fuck you, your own mate's ass. You look, <laughs> you look at someone and you're like, oh, that's a freshman. <laughs> he's fresh, man. He's, he's yeah, a freshman. Yeah. yeah, he's freshman. When you say that. Are you talking about a man or a woman? Can you say that a woman's a freshman? Because I was thinking, it'd be kind of sus to be like, she's a fresh woman. <laughs> it's like... That would not work at all. It wouldn't work at all. It's no. just like... So you'd have to be like, first year student. No. Instead of fresh... Because you can't say that a girl's a freshman because they'd be like, I'm not a man. Okay. If we're going to go on about this, why <laughs> not we just change men now become women and women become men? Okay. And we just changed the name. It's nice to meet you, we'll firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fireman anymore. <laughs> Sorry. No. no. Okay. That wasn't why I wanted this. But I'm right. saying, yes. people are so triggered that, why is it manly? Why isn't it womanly? Yeah. <laughs> we live in near manly and people wanted it to be, and it was womanly for one day. But what? Yes, really? it was, yes. It was the changed. beach in Australia, the most famous beach in Australia. Yeah, it was changed to womanly for a day. <laughs> now, <laughs> That's the fact quiet. that they're that worried about that, I couldn't give a flying fuck if everyone, everything was manly and I was a woman. Like, not yeah. my situation, but I mean now, if we were considered woman or women and they were men and everything was, you know, the Northmen or manly or yeah. what were we just saying? Freshmen. Yeah. I do not give a flying fuck. Yeah, I, I think I'd be the same as you. I'd be like, I'd be neutral about it. I, 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 I worry about people that get so triggered about words. Yeah, they're just words, bro. They're just words. Like, I mean, cis. Uh, I mean... Cisgender? Was that what you were saying? Is bro gender neutral? Because I've called girls bros. Yeah, well, they are your bro. But, it, but bro is literally not gender neutral, though. But it can be. Yeah, but this... This talk is all it does, crazy. It doesn't matter. This is all crazy talk. I, I respect anyone that wants to be called a different thing. Yeah. But if you're going to force me to say it when I had no idea that was what you were or identify yeah. as, and you call them out, like, why didn't you call me this? And it's like, well, I had no fucking idea. Yeah, that's fair Not enough. Not that I've ever been through this because I haven't been to university and all that scene, the whole gender thing now happening. But... If you want to be called something, more than happy for you to go on about that. But don't make it law. Yeah. I think... So, you know how um uh, they changed it to womanly for a, for a little bit? Split second in time. Well, yeah. men actually retaliated. Yeah. We were infuriated. I can get them. You know, in Australia, when you're driving past a school zone, there's like a little sign and it's a mother walking a kid. Yes. And men wanted to change that. Did they? Fathers walk their kids to school too. True. Why is it a woman holding the kid? <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's get some men. I do know what you mean, but I don't care. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I couldn't give a fuck. I couldn't give a fuck either. I'm and most saying. of the time it will be women, because a man is usually working. <laughs> You're a dickhead. <laughs> it is the truth. You're a dickhead. Now, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You cannot deny to me that the percentage difference of men... That would be at work at that time and women dropping off the kids. I'm not saying every scenario. I'm saying the percentages yeah. would, in my complete guess of an opinion, would be 70-30. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Possibly even higher towards the women taking the kids. Now, that's because women are more maternal. It's not a dig at women. Yeah. 
women still work equally as hard, in my opinion. And like we stated the other day, are as smart, or if not smarter, than men. Obviously. Yeah. They, I think, pretty sure they'd have a longer... Their brain cells work better than us. I'm pretty sure that they would live longer, right? Yeah, they, they would do. have a better... Women yeah. live way longer. So than that would like essentially five mean... five years, I think. Yeah, well, that's that kind of says all that straight away, doesn't it? <laughs> Literally, it does. Just, yeah. But, yeah, like, I don't... I don't... <laughs> I don't care that it's a woman walking the trial. But yeah, what, like, I, I don't care either. I was just are we just not going to have a sign? Yeah. But the kid the kid looks like a boy. <laughs> Make it a girl. Girl and a man. Yeah, no, it's, it's a bit... Like, it's, it's just like chill, you know? It's, yeah. We don't just, need to change anything about society. Okay. Everything's perfect. What? <laughs> <laughs> Everything's spot on. Never change. <laughs> That's never, exactly never right, ladies and gentlemen. Again. Speaking of things that we should never change, Genghis Khan. <laughs> <laughs> we probably fucking should. <laughs> he only killed man. a lot of people. Yeah, he killed a fucking lot of people. But is he... You, so, we were talking about it last week, or the other day. Um, the video will be up before this one. Yeah, it will be. Go and check that out if you haven't seen it. Yeah, we talked sure. about Genghis Khan yep. and how he had sex with loads of women. He has a yep. lot of kids. And yep. how he, like, technically most of humanity is, like, yep. almost related to But... Him. I was saying the butt for you. Oh, did he ever fuck like men? Was he gay? Was he LGBTQ? Did. Was he? You think he did? At that time, for sure. You reckon? Yeah, there was no limits on anything then. Yeah. I don't even know what time it was. I haven't even done the check. What did we say? Like 17, 1600s or something? Yeah, I don't That's know. That's a exactly. full guess But they definitely did. So you're telling me that Genghis Khan wants dick in his ass. Yes. <laughs> speaking is it of, okay? Speaking of dick in your yeah. ass. Speaking of dick in your ass, is it okay to fuck your own ass? No, it's not, is it okay? Is, is it gay? Like, is that considered homosexual to fuck yourself in well, your no. own ass? No. It's not, you don't think so? No. You're not I, doing a homosexual... I think you, you are doing a homosexual I think it's homosexual. <laughs> I hope that no one ever has fucked their own But it's not normalised. You see, masturbation's <laughs> normalised, and that's technically gay. You're jerking off a man, right? That's technically gay, but it doesn't... It's not gay because it's normalised, right? You're not jerking off a man. You're but, like, when you're off. fucking yourself in the ass, that's gay. Would you be going forward, or would you be going... Well, that's the thing. We, I tried on, to is it going this out. up and around your shoulder? No, I tried to figure this out. Because right, I really want to try... I mean, sorry. I, I, <laughs> I tried to figure this out with my friends. You ever played Portal? You shoot the yellow portal and then you shoot the blue portal? I've seen portal. this, yeah, yeah. And you then you jump go through that. You go. Yeah. So if you get into a narrow enough wall and you shoot a portal in front of you, shoot a portal behind you, you can essentially fuck yourself in the ass. Yeah. Like, because you're, you're, my you ass would be, would be pushing right forward, yeah, yeah. And you can fuck yourself. Yep. Well, is that gay? Like, that's way... That's a big gay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That would be considered as a gay act. Yeah. But if you wrapped your cock over your shoulder... And if you leant over, you could see yourself lean over. <laughs> and you'd be looking at yourself from behind and just going ham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, going ham. That's damn right. Using your meat to hit that meat. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I guess that's considered his gay. <laughs> but is I'm gay sorry. derogatory as well now? I don't even know. I think when we're saying it, we're not intending to be rude, though. We're just I know, saying but I don't think anyone... Oh, some people are. But yeah, I, I don't give a shit if you're gay, fucking LGBTQ+, plus X, Y, Z, every letter of the alphabet will be soon. I think LGBTQ, having those letters is actually really fucking infuriating because where are the rest of the letters? Yeah, that's true. Why is it a plus? Why is it a certain community? It always becomes yeah. the one set of people against the rest. Where's... Why not everyone fucking just together? Wait, where's S? Where's straight? It's... Fu- yeah, but it's not about us. It's them against us. Yeah, that's that true. is That is the whole problem with society now. Is that it's not... Everyone fighting together, it's certain groups always fighting against each other. Yeah. And this is why we'll never have world peace. But I want to tell you what. In the next in the in the next five to ten years, yeah. longer than that actually, in the next fifty years, when there is a universal language where we can speak through AI mm-hmm. or yeah. Elon Elon's um disc in the head and whatnot. Yeah. When we're able to, I can just walk up to you and you can essentially, you know exactly what I'm thinking. We don't yeah. have to speak because speaking won't even be a thing. That's you kind just, of weird. It's yeah. very scary. But 
when we get to that point, we will be able to conversate with people. Surely we don't want to get to that point. That seems really yeah. That's it a seems weird situation. Scary. It seems very scary. But what's scary about that? Because we're still conversating now, just using words in our mouth. It's which like, is stupid anyway. Yeah. We're going blah blah blah, and you're listening to what we're saying, which could trigger you or make you laugh or something it's yeah. so it's, it's just so, a word yeah it's so barbaric yeah do you know where I'm getting with barbarian <laughs> <laughs> those fucking Greeks the big cocks <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm talking about how the philosophers and whatever of ancient Greece used to make all the statues with the tiny cocks to say that if you have a small penis you are an intelligent smart person yeah. And the barbarians have massive cocks. They're stupid and dumb and don't must, know anything. I must be really smart. Oh, fucking oh. Alberto <laughs> Einstein. <laughs> um, so I was thinking and talking about um, like the future and how like humanity is evolving. Mm-hmm. I was talking to my friends about this. I I mow lawns for a living. I'm a I'm a gardener. Yep. Right. And is it eventually, landscaper as well? Yeah, landscape, yeah. horticulture. Okay. That's that's what I do. Yep. Eventually, there's going to be like machines that can just mow lawns for you, right? Yep. And eventually, there's going to be machines that can just cut trees down for you. Yeah. And my job will be useless. Pretty much. But I think it's the fact of like how expensive those machines are going to be to to build and to create. It would cost far more to pay a you know, computer analysis man and yeah. a builder to make the machine to create that, yeah. and then use petrol or use the solar panels to actually get it to work elect- electrically or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to make the machine. So yeah, millions, not, yeah. not all people would be able to actually use that machine. So even though it's futuristic and that's where the world's going, 99% of the world would never be able to use that and they just need a human to cut their fucking lawns. Pretty much. So why even invent that? Why even bother? Like, you know? My thing is, would what you're talking about notice the little things? Yeah, that, that's what I thought as well. Yeah. Like all the pubic hairs. Yeah, those little things grass. that you see that you even maybe have to go back down in, yeah. say, and then re-go over that bit to like level it out. A computerized AI, I don't feel like would have the intelligence to notice that yeah like the best ai on the planet couldn't see as good as our eyes right can ai see i don't know enough about ai but yeah i guess yeah my point is like a lot of the time when i'm whipping an edge yeah i look i whip the edge and then i do the I, i do the edge and then i flat whip it so i do the line then i flat and then sometimes there's like a little bit that pops up an yep. hour later. And I'm oh, walking shit. past and I'm like, oh shit. So I get the secchies out of my pocket and I have to cut that one leaf blade that pops up. Mm-hmm. Because if you look at it from afar, there's that one leaf blade and it's like... The the whole lawn looks bad now. Yeah. Because there's that one bit that's uneven. It's not exactly one little leaf blade. That's probably... You can get away with that. But I know... But sometimes there's little scuffs in the... You know, oh shit, I need to go back and fix that. Yeah, yeah. Surely a machine... Like... Eventually, they'd be able to make a machine that is smart enough to fix that. To guarantee But it's just that. so far in the future. It'll cost so much. This will be... that. W- I, I, I actually, you're making me... Le- you're making me not as worried as I was before yeah. this talk. Because think about a big tree as well. Yeah. You walk up a ladder and you have to cut it to that the right height. That shit is type. fucked up. What sort of machine, unless you get like a tractor which raises and just cuts the... It's just, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't see how a machine could ever do that. Even the most technologically advanced machine, it would just be too expensive and well, wouldn't function in society. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Now, would this little machine that does your lines and relines everything, would it be done before a person would have been and left before those little leaves pop back up that you're saying yeah. come up in the next 30 minutes to an hour? Yeah. Or you're yeah. there for the whole day... Is this thing going to rock up, quickly do the lawn, fuck off, and then yeah, there's exactly. problems there. It's like, oh, to save money, they will, they'll be in and out in 20 minutes. It's like, yeah, yeah but you need Which hours. Which will be the selling point, but also, what's going to happen to people? Yeah, because uh, people need to make the machines. People need too. to be moving. But then yeah. they'll make machines that make the machines. But who makes those machines? AI will make its own machines. 
Yeah. That is creepy. It's super confusing. But the, the smart people will be at the top. Yeah. What I think should happen... Do we have to worry about this, though? Sorry. I was going to say maybe our kids have to really worry about it, but... I think our kids sorry. have to worry about you, it. You I don't think it's sorry. as much us. I think yeah. I think by the time this all starts to happen, we'll be almost dying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Now, will we live to, like, over 100? I'm, I'm making it to 100. That's why I'm eating healthy, mate. Yeah. I, I figured out. I want to be 101 years old one day, and I want to look at my great-grandchildren... And I want them to look at me and be like, wow, I love you, great-grandpa. Or great-great-grandpa. And I'll be like, fuck yeah, you're going to be the best kid ever when the robots take over. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see my great-great-grandchildren um, get obliterated by machines, <laughs> I guess. I mean, we just talked about how like the future's fucked, and I want to yeah. see my grandkids. That's going to be... I mean, it's no, so, I, don't, um... I don't think it's actually going to be out. I think it's going to be in about five, ten generations. Yeah, yeah, I think so. About 500 but, years. But yeah. it's so like, um, what is it? Uh, when you're kind of like, you want it, but you know that this is going to happen. Like, yeah. you're conflicted. Yeah. You're, you're wanting these things, but also like, what is the future going to look like? Because how far have we advanced in such a short time? Yeah, it's a, an exponential curve. It know? is a crazy curve. Now we have people like Elon, who have hundreds of billion dollar companies. Yeah. Bezos, who created Amazon, it was a however much worth company, twenty dollars, and now is a multi, multi, multi hundred billion dollar companies. Yeah, all of this, all of this work and what these people have put together has just created this world that we live in now, mm. where essentially we're seeing electric cars that are faster than anything else on the road. Yeah, we are seeing deliveries that come like that. Yeah, literally. You order it and they're there the next day. Yeah, literally. That is fucking nuts. And sometimes even the same day. The same day, yeah, I was going to say. You're, so you're able to go onto your computer, click that I want this barbecue to come. Yeah. Oh, it can come by today. I'll pay $3 more and you get it today. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes even not on Amazon Prime, it's free because you pay for it. Now, it comes yeah. within a day. Why would people ever need to get up and do anything more if people can bring their groceries to them? Everything that they it's need. Like, it's like the movie, move? the movie Wally. Yeah. Remember how they live in this all big spaceship people? and all the fat people are sitting there in the. You're seats. taking me back to that, yeah. And it, like they literally don't move all day and they just get food to their table, which Fuck. is on top of them. They drink it to their side, which they don't even need to grab. It literally just has a straw that goes to their mouth. That's all they do. And it's like, that, as crazy as that was in the movie, to watch and be like, that'll never happen. It, it totally will fucking happen. I, like, yeah. It's a movie and it's a bit far-fetched and it would probably be a long time away. That's very sad to me. But it I, is quite sad to yeah. think of. I just want to spread love and happiness and funny vibes for you want to know? Life. You want to know what's really like, funny? What is funny? I saw a bowl guy last yeah. night in an underground bar and he was doing this comedy skit thing. Oh, yeah? In between like these really heavy metal band oh like, shit. it was so crazy yeah it was really funny this bold guy he had like um eyeshadow on it he, he looked okay. like fucking badass he yeah. took his shirt off like yeah and he was just talking like did the no nonsense Price thing yeah. yeah he he was so funny yeah in between like someone was just singing like rah, rah, rah. and then like afterwards he was like do you guys remember AIDS?" <laughs> <laughs> and he's talking about like how like look don't ever fuck a monkey but like <laughs> Yeah. So, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he, he was saying, start the bit again. Start the sorry, bit I'll again. start the bit again. He was ju- he was making a joke. I can't remember the joke exactly, but he's like, "Look, I understand why you'd fuck a monkey, but don't fuck a monkey with a rash." You know, he was saying stuff like that. It's a lot funnier when you're in the moment. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but he was saying stuff like that, and he was just like, "Yeah, it's like, why would you ever fuck something with a big rash?" <laughs> it's, and a big ass. Those baboon things. Have it was an just. Arsehole. It was just so out of out of nowhere because it was like this heavy metal band screaming and then he's like he's the guitar player and he just starts like doing this really funny comedy skit and then the next person comes up to sing and I was just like this guy's fucking hilarious place, yeah? Did it, you, it was all over the place but it was find like his details or something you know who he is no no he was just a really funny black we had to leave well, it was getting late but like yeah. but yeah he was That's just really funny wicked. and out of nowhere it was just like this random guy without a shirt bold as fuck that's cool eyeliner. how you can get that that you got that heavy metal bang going, and then this one guy comes on and is like, 
You guys remember fucking eight? <laughs> and, and then it just changes that dynamic. And he, he was pretty crazy as well. Like and that kept... would hit you in the face too. <laughs> you just go, whoa. He kept it quite hype though. He was like, yeah. you guys remember AIDS? You know? <laughs> <laughs> there were other jokes as well. Fucking half of yous wouldn't. I You're didn't explain young. it very well. Yeah. But it was it, really funny. And it was just out brain. of nowhere and I thought it was great. Yeah. And um, I was talking afterwards about how confident that guy was. Just, yeah, because it was out of nowhere. They just started singing, and then he just starts talking, and everyone's listening, everyone's laughing. He's like, "This guy's from Colorado, the singer." Yeah. He's like, "Where oh, are yeah. you from, Colorado?" And he's like, "Oh, imagine if an Australian came up to you and said, oh, I'm from South Australia,' you'd be like, "What the fuck are you talking about?'" Yeah, pretty much. And it's just like, "Where the fuck is Colorado?" They, and then the Colorado guy was like, "Oh, it was the first place to legalize weed." Oh like, shit! And then he was like, "Oh, it's also the first place to illegalize abortion." <laughs> <laughs> just shit like that out yeah. of nowhere it's yeah. just like fuck yeah this guy's so like the fact he just looked like a crazy man but so funny and so down to earth why do we love people from our country so much why do we want to see why do we want to like at the Olympics why do we want to see Australians do well what is that because thing? we're Australian yeah I know but why is it so much that you're really like invested in it why is it not that you look into all the people is it just a simplistic thing is it just that we think, okay, they're Aussies, they're like us, we want to be like them? Yes. Why isn't it we have to research, find the people that we want to watch, and then we go for them? Why yeah, because like, there could be an Aussie who's like really shit at He could have killed 55 people, you have no idea, yeah. and he's racing, and you're going, go man, but you have no idea who he is. You've never seen him before, and he's no. going up against Usain Bolt, who and, everyone loves. And you're just it's going, like, come on, Aussie. Why don't I go for Usain Bolt here? But this guy's Australian, I have to go for him. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, maybe because it's inspirational and you want to be like that and you can't be a Jamaican like... sprinter? No, I think it's the other way. I think it is that people know that they could never be like that. Oh. So they cheer for them and oh. and, and they win through those people. Right. That so makes they, sense. So they're seeing the Australian throw the discus and they're like, go on, do it for us. Yeah. I feel like that is more of what the Olympics and stuff like that is. So because for me, when you're watching professional football, yeah, I always wanted to be that. I never made it. You I'm can just still, but yeah, yeah. But I'm just a guy now. Guy again. I'm just a person. You're just. But a I'm person. watching, and I'm Gender hoping neutral. that they do well to show me that you know to be like I couldn't do that. That's why people watch because they can't do it. They want to see the best of the best. Yeah. That's what most of professionalism is. Yeah. Yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. I'm perfect. You're perfect. No, that's a load of shit. You know what is perfect? That subscribe button, and you should click it. That's damn fucking right. That's damn fucking right. You hit that bitch. You want to know what's better than hitting that subscribe button? Liking, commenting, giving Fuck us yeah. ideas. And dislike if you hated the video. If you I hated the video, literally dislike it. And, but comment below and say why you hated it. Yeah. If Was you it because think... we were misogynistic? <laughs> Was it because we disrespected a lot of different groups and societies and communities? We didn't do that. We didn't sure. do that. We love everyone and everything. Yes. Let's just like little at the end here. We love everyone. We love. Everyone. I would never disrespect someone for their own. No, I don't opinion. hate someone unless they give me a reason to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We love everyone. And hates a strong. You can be anything and anyone. You can identify as a toaster, and I will love you. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. You want to be a dog? And you want to wolf and do get it. fed on the ground? Do whatever you want. Literally do it. It's your life, and it's fucking beautiful. Fuck you. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you. Bye. Ciao. <laughs> that was goaded. That was really good. <laughs>